Day Las Vegas. All right, 416 on your Wednesday morning. The nominations for the 63rd Grammy Awards are in. 24-time Grammy winner Beyonce leads the pack. She's got nine nominations, including Record of the Year. Uh, Taylor Swift, Dua Lipa, each with six nominations. How about Megan the Stallion with several nominations? She is favored to take the title of Best New Artist. And... Hey now, BTS making history as the first K-pop band to be nominated. You can see all the Grammy Awards on January 31st right here on Channel 8. And it was announced that the Daily Show's Trevor Noah will be the host. So how about that, John, Sherry, and Alex? Wait a second, Nate. How did the killers do? Oh, did you see the tweet that the yeah. killers put out? It was really funny. They used all caps going, it was rigged, we were robbed, uh, they, they didn't allow the counting oh. procedure. Uh, obviously, it was kind of a joke. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted a recount. They're going to sue. Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw Nate retweet that. But uh, yeah, Alex, a lot of uh, nifty bands and artists there, none of which I listen to, but I should maybe one day look Gosh. into that. We do subject John to those artists. Taylor here in the Swift. Studio. Yes. <laughs> yes, Nate Tannenbaum. She actually dropped a different version of her album, Folklore, overnight. So if you uh, haven't listened to that, that's something that she won a lot of awards for already this year. So, all right. Shall we talk about the weather, and you guys? real quickly, I know we don't have a whole lot. Oh, go Can ahead, I, I just real quickly want to mention that my friend John Prine, my all-time favorite singer who died of COVID earlier this mm -hmm. year, has two Grammy nominations for Best Aww. American Roots Song and Best American Roots Performance. So uh, kudos to the Prine family. Absolutely. Oh, congrats to him. Good.